God is one. Let me tell you about Abraham, our father, from the Torah. Since the moment he was born, he had to hide from a king that wanted to kill him. He was a special child. And he saw godliness in everything from a very young age. He listened to all the guiding around him. When Abraham grew up and he managed to go back to his father, Terach, he saw that in his father's house, they have a huge room just for worshiping. But this room had idols. His father, Terach, had 12 idols in that room, one for each month of the year. He had special prayers and he had a special God for each month. And he would worship them as this month go by. He had other gods too, gods for prosperity, for luck, fortune, and so on. And when Abraham saw that, he was furious. He went to his dad and said, how can you worship them? They're made out of stones and woods. And his father said, that's the gods. They're my gods. They help me. I worship them. I pray to them. And I ask them to protect me and to guide me. Abraham, even though he was very upset, he went to his mom and said, Mom, help me. Let's cook some lambs and make a big meal for honoring dad's idols. So the mom agreed and she did that. And Abraham put all this food next to the idols and waited for them to eat. And of course, they couldn't eat, they couldn't touch it, they couldn't do anything with it. And they just stayed there till the evening. In the evening, Avram said, oh, what? You don't like my food? It's not good enough? But he was so upset. He took a big stick and he started breaking all of them. He knew that's not God. There's something much bigger. And when he started breaking everything, he put the, the stick in the hands of the biggest idol, which he didn't bring, break, and he went outside. But his dad heard all this knocking and breaking. He rushed there and saw Abraham leaving, and he went inside and saw all his idols broken, and only one idol with a stick in his hand standing there. So he ran after, he ran after Abraham and said, what did you do? And Abraham said, what? I didn't do anything. I brought a big meal, and when the idols saw that, they loved it and they wanted to eat. Now the biggest one was so upset that they don't respect him and they start, they want to start eating before him. So he started breaking all of them. He got really upset. You saw the stick in his hand. His father said, how dare you? They're made out of stones and metal, sorry, not metal, stones and, and wood. And I made them. They can't move. They can't smell. They can't move their hands. They can't eat. So Abraham said, ah, so why do you worship them? If they have ears and they can't hear, if they have eyes and they can't look, if they have hands and they can't move, they're just statues. They're not God. His father was really upset back then. And he got, he tried to put Abraham into troubles, but eventually he did listen. We put idols in our lives. So many times we worship feelings, we worship fears, we worship our money, what people think about us. We let all these things, our leaders, even leaders, they're not above God. Think about it next time. Try to see God beyond everything in your life. It takes a lot of courage. But Abraham, he was one. And the whole world in his time stood on the other side. And he stick to his belief. I wish you best of luck.